and welcome to St Mary's College. Um, today I'm going to take you on a tour around Mary's to show you what our buildings look like and the facilities we have on offer. It's a great day to be showing you around Mary's today because we have all of our Sports and Societies photos going on. So Mary's is buzzing with lots of students. This is our main building at Mary's. It's called the Ferguson Building and it houses a lot of our sort of main facilities. In here we have the dining room, the junior common room, we have the library, the reading room and just a variety of other rooms that are used to kind of house events. So let me take you in and show you what we've got. Perfect, so if you went down this way from the main entrance, we get to go to our dining room and to the JCR. So regardless of whether you're in one of the other accommodation buildings or whether you're in this building, um, you will be using these facilities. So this is our junior common room at Mary's, so I'll take you in to see it. Is our Mary's JCR. As you can see, we've got a pool table, there's like sofas, we've got lots of lovely photos on the wall and a TV here. So often um, different societies host movie nights, GameSock hosts their different games in here. So you can see we've got different games over there, bookshelves and things. So yeah, this is just like a nice communal space that is often used in college. And then behind me is Mary's dining room. So um, I can take you in to see that. So at Mary's we are a fully catered college and you have free meals a day in college and this is our lovely dining room that you have those meals in, so come and have a look. So when you come through this way in Mary's you head towards our reading room, the cloisters through the door just ahead and then round here to some of our accommodation buildings. Now we've seen the reading room, I'll take you up, show you where we have some of our accommodation and the library. So, through these doors, we have accommodation corridors this way and more accommodation upstairs. And downstairs, we have our bar and coasty bar. But they're not open right now because it's daytime, so I won't be able to show you those right now. We're down in Mary's basement and we actually have some of the facilities down here. So we have one of the laundry rooms here. Unfortunately, because I don't live in college, I haven't got key to get in, but it's basically um, circuit laundry. You can look that up. It, um, the way it works is you have a card that you can top up and there are laundry machines that you just scan your card to pay with. It's quite a similar system used in like loads of different universities, I believe. Um, and just down the corridor here, um, we have our bar and up here we have our toasty bar. Um, so if you keep an eye on TikTok, we'll try and get some content of those, sort of when stuff's actually happening on an evening. So when you come through the door next to the reading room, you come through to out here in the cloisters. And the cloisters are actually one of our prettiest areas at Mary's, or at least in my opinion. Um, so you've got this whole sort of like area out the back of Mary's, which is great for just getting a bit of fresh air. Just at the back of the cloisters area at Mary's here, um, you can see a few of our different accommodation buildings. We'll go a bit closer in a minute, but just through the trees there, you can see um, some of our Takeo buildings. And there are some more over here, and quite a lot of the accommodation buildings that you can see over this side are actually lived in by postgrads. So if you're a postgrad that's going to be coming and studying at Mary's, it's quite likely that you'll be living in one of these buildings here. So just behind the Ferguson building, we have the Takeo building. And some of our Mary students also live in this building. Um, this like part of sort of Mary's is actually shared with the Tokyo University in Japan and they send students over who come and do sort of an exchange and stay in these halls and some of our Mary students live here too. So coming now from the Ferguson building which as I mentioned before is the main building of Mary's and this is the route down the steps here to the Williamson building which is the sort of second accommodation building that we have here at Mary's. We have the cathedral just behind us. You might even be able to hear the cathedral bells chiming among the buzz of the busy photo day today. This is the Williamson building and this is one of our two main accommodation buildings. Um, and lots of students live here. You can see that there are loads of windows around me. And this is where lots of my friends lived in my first year. And I also lived in part of this building as well. So the rooms in this area have shared bathrooms. 
Um, they can kind of vary how many people share each bathroom, but it's sort of no more than 15 per bathroom. I know that kind of sounds like a lot, but there are quite a lot of showers in each one of those and a couple of toilets, and they do get regularly cleaned by cleaners as well. And then they each share a sort of communal kitchen area as well, some of which have ovens, some of which don't, but as all college cater, you know, like the college is catered. So that's just sort of for like making your teas and coffees and, you know, the occasional microwave popcorn. So up this end of the Williamson building, we have some of the bedrooms with ensuite bathrooms. Now there aren't loads of these at Mary's, but if you do have a particular requirement to have an ensuite bathroom, you like you can apply for that and you can get one. So I actually did live in one of the rooms in this block in my first year at Mary's. And um, yeah, these rooms are kind of similar to the other rooms, possibly slightly newer, but again, like quite similar to the other rooms. They just have the bathroom built in there. And again, it's like a similar situation with the kitchens. One of the great things about Mary's is that we are really close to the science site, which is where a lot of the main university buildings are. So you can see right behind me the Ferguson building of Mary's. And then actually over here, we have the teaching and learning center. Um, and this is a great building. Quite a lot of subjects do have lectures in here. There are some big lecture halls, but there's also a lot of great study space. So from here, I can literally see one of my classrooms from this year, which is pretty cool. Um, and this building is really new. It was constructed when I was in my first year, so like three years ago. Um, and it's very convenient. And then just behind this, across the road, we have the main university library, the Bill Bryson, and also a lot of other big lecture theatres and departments, like the chemistry department, geography department, just to name a few. Thank you so much for watching our tour of Mary's today. I really hope that this has been helpful for you. And if you have any questions about anything to do with Mary's, please just drop them down in the comments and we'll get back to you. And we hope to be doing tours of all of our colleges very soon. See you next time.